So here in the United States, uh, I believe that a big contributor to your life expectancy is uh, your race, right? And a lot of it has to do with systemic differences that we treat people of different races in terms of um, opportunities. I believe um, African Americans have a five to ten year lower life expectancy, and we, we call that injustice, right? But there's another group of people who also have a lower life expectancy and um, you know with African Americans you can easily blame it on genetics right with this group of people maybe not so much right and this group of people is living at least three to five years less than their counterparts depending on the, the locale obviously I think the difference is probably bigger in the big cities and yet instead of calling it what it is right injustice we call it the privilege of being in the other class right now can you imagine if a class of people made only 50 to 60 cents for every dollar of their opposite class. Now we, 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 we call it pretty bad with uh, gender inequality or racial inequality with income, but this class of people actually has even more inequality uh, because not only are they unequal with the earning side, they're very unequal on the spending side as well, right? So can you imagine if instead of calling that injustice, we called it privilege of moving to the other class. Now this one hits me really at home because I always run into it. Can you imagine you're in a disadvantaged class and you go look for housing and the owner has the audacity to point this out by asking you if being in that disadvantaged class is going to cause you to do certain activities, right? Can you imagine looking for housing and having to answer if you're going to have religious practices in there, if your children are well behaved, if they're going to cause damage, you know, that, that's kind of taboo to ask in most cases, right? Depending on the city or town you live in, it might even be taboo to ask about pets, right? I spent some time in Wallace, Idaho. Pets are pretty common there, right? It would be pretty taboo to have a pet-free apartment, right? But can you imagine, instead of um, calling it out for what it is, let's imagine that we were really against certain religious practices, right? I believe... Um, uh, certain religions love to go on intermittent fasting for a certain, uh, I think, eight, 10 hours every every certain season or something like that. Can you imagine that uh, maybe your landlord loves to have food activities and is bothered by that, and you walk in because you're a certain race, they assume you're going to be of that religion. Oh my God, are you going to fast every September? I forget which month it is, but I apologize to people of that religion. Are you going to fast every September and not be able to participate and not be social? Can you imagine if your landlord asked you that? But for some reason, there are certain classes, we instead of calling it what it is, we call it privilege of being in the other class, right? Anyway, some food for thought. See single bias for what it is. Thanks for watching.